Is the pond where we were literally just at? Because if so, I feel like a dum-dum. That should come to no surprise to anybody. Okay. Minor backtracking. Stop hitting yourself, please. Is this a pond? This is not a pond. This is a little crick. A little, a little crick. Uh, okay, we also need to find a thing. Oh, there he is. We also need to find a rocket of some kind. Maybe he will provide it to us. How's it going? This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. Oh. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Okay. The idol is very picky. Oh, you know what? Actually, I think there was an achievement for this. Hold on. Oh, this, oh, this is, okay. So this one, we need to feed him fish. And we also need to land on an idol here. I wonder if this is the idol we land on. Um, we need to not feed this guy redfish, I believe. So I'm going to be on the safe side and make sure that he doesn't eat red, maybe? Yeah, blue and yellow. Okay. Yeah, I had a quick perusal of the achievements list, and I'm really bad at aiming. And, um... Yeah, I guess that's something we should do. Sparks, are you okay? <laughs> this guy is ADHD. There we go. What does an idol have any business doing eating fish, by the way? This is not eating the foreman, you know. I'm glad about that. No. Red. Bad. Red. Poison. But we'll, we'll, get the, we'll get the blue and the yellow and all the flounders. There we go. Okay, Spyro, Easy. One more puzzle to go. Wait. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. Okay. Uh, have we seen colored stones? Maybe I might have burnt them. But that's fine. Let's keep on going. Welcome back to Spyro 2, Ripple's Rage. I don't have any idea where I'm going to be cutting these. Uh, this isn't really situated like the original game where I could just kind of do a stage and then end it off and then do another one, end it off. I could. But maybe not. Maybe I won't do it for all of these. Maybe for some of them. Because if we can get 100% in each of these stages, I think we'll be more or less set. So, then I wouldn't feel too bad about keeping each stage as its own video instead of going back and forth between other ones. But the way this game is set up, it gives me some reservations in my stomach, you know? Alright, so he's going to run. He's going to go destroy the hell out of a lock. It's his favorite thing to do. Look at him. What in the world? How are you going to lock that next time? You're not thinking this through clearly enough at all. Right, use the right stick. Uh, okay. How could you get to this point without knowing that? Without trying that? <sighs> that must have been the original. I don't remember if this game came out in the era of when the PlayStation controller did not have analog sticks, but I have a feeling it probably did not. Oh, there you are. Okay, well, ooh, hi. Don't do that. That is rude. Uh, so colored, colored stones. These stones are not colored whatsoever, sir. I feel as though you have misled me. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. <laughs> I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. Oh, so it's trial and error. Uh, okay. Well, he's gonna start on the, uh, oh, you know what? Okay, so. Let's go with this one. Are you correct? Yes, you are. Okay, so because these two were stars, we have to find another one of these pentagrams. Or another star. I think it's this one. It's gotta be. Right? Yeah! Now, for a square... Uh, or... No, color! I see. And then we do this one. And... Because this was a triangle, we can do this one. Hey, yeah! I figured out a puzzle, guys. Oh, and we're nice back job, here. Good job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. Well, thanks. Uh, all I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. I don't know what it does, and I don't think uh, Bob's gonna need it, but uh, yeah, you can go and help yourself. Oh, man, he is so happy. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for dropping me off all the way over here, too, by the way. I truly appreciate it. Okay. Well, all the fishies are here, which means we now, for a third time, get to run this way. Do a good old speed run. And, uh, yeah, I'm as much as I want to keep on playing this, you guys. I'm going to take a break here pretty soon. My nose didn't get as bad as I thought it was going to, but 
Uh, I should probably save some of this for tomorrow. That would be a good idea. And because um, my eyes are kind of starting to bother me, and I've been. Uh, I just recorded after I got off work, and I am ready to not have to be goddamn exhausted playing this game, you know? I just want to have fun. I want to have energy. And right now, I'm just tired. So, after tomorrow, I'll be able to play a little bit more. Ah, uh, but it looks like we made it. Sparrow, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. Uh, thank you, Foreman Max. What are you gonna give me? A hammer? No, it's it's literally an idol. A hammer would have made more sense, but thanks, I guess. Can you stop doing that? Can you tell your man to stop giving himself concussion? Because uh, that would be pretty incredible. Uh, all right. Well, there's a waterfall. Wait, does this take us back to the earlier part of the stage? Can I dive? No, I can't. This is the shallowest little river I did ever see. Okay, so this might actually take us earlier in the stage, right? Uh, oh, there's things up there. I want that. I want that. Wait, wait. I'm swimming, but I'm not. I'm swimming, but I'm not. How do I get over there? Can you take me higher, sir? Oh, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Grab all with your teeth. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, something tells me that's not how we're supposed to reach that, so I will stop attempting that. Uh, we'll go this way. Because there was another route, it looked like. Maybe to another backyard, perhaps? Oh, we have to go a long ways. Ugh. I feel like Spyro's charge is a lot shorter than it was, or a lot slower than it was in the first game. So we go this way. Ah, you might take me. You might take me higher. All right, this works for me. Let's go this way. Ugh. Yeah, give my old little hover, my little hover. There we go. All right, we're here. We did a thing, and there's a uh, <laughs> dancing tiki man. <laughs> look at him. Look at him all purple. Oh, he's a little, a little gross. Uh, we have a supercharge. That's probably good for something, right? Uh, something tells me I need to destroy. All these dancy women, they're waving at me. They want me to tip them. All right, listen here, Palio. Uh-oh, uh-oh, is he a bad, is he a bad one? What is going on? What are you, oh no, you have taken her hostage. It's fabulous to see you, Spyro. Now that the supercharged power-up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. Or maybe they can leave you chained up like that. Okay. Uh, well, this is unfortunate, but... <clears throat> there we go. Ooh, look at her. Look at her. Good God. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's let's just do the thing. Oh, Jesus, this is really fast. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, did I do... Ugh. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. The hula girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. Uh, sure. Can I have your orbs? Please. Also, I love that just the dance, the rain dance of Maggie is able to just totally cause that guy to get absolutely eviscerated and made dead and redundant. Okay. Well, let's grab the rest of these and stop eating bugs, Sparks. That's disgusting. You are a bug. I hope you realize that one of these days. Okay, so we have mm, just a couple more to grab. 33, no, 100 and what? What? I must be missing something pretty egregious. Uh, all right, well, they're all <laughs> dancing to the heavens and she's just watching. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoy that. Next time I come around, you're gonna be locked up again. Okay, so I don't think we need to do anything else here. It doesn't seem like it. Uh, well, shoot. What in the world? I do wanna go this way, though. I did notice this path, but I can't get up there. Ah, but I can get up here. There we go. And now, yeah, there we go. 
Alright, so there is that idle thing. I don't think that's the one we're supposed to land on. I think the one that we started out near is the one that we need to do something on, correct? The one that was hungry for blue and yellow fish. Okay, well, let's keep going. Obviously, that's what we're going to do. Oh my god, there's a lot more here than I thought. Okay, and over there. Holy smokes. All right, I don't think we have anything to worry about. Let's get these gems and let's get the hell out of here. I want to have some breakfast. I want to have something to eat. I had some coffee that I was drinking during the cutscenes. And it was real good. Because I mixed it with screwball and peanut butter whiskey. And even though it is only like 8 in the morning, it was still fine by me because uh, I just had a full work day. And I deserve it, damn it. Okay, so we're going to head over here and grab these ones. We've got to be close, right? Do this, do this, and done. Go! Yeah, right back to where we started. Where are you? Oh, you're over there. Okay, so what we need to do is land on that idol, I believe, is what I am thinking. There's also something down there that I missed. Oh boy, did uh, I did a bad. I did a bad. I did a such a bad. Oh no. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go back down under here. There's some that I missed. Actually, those might have just fallen up from up there. Well, goddamn, I'm gonna have to do the thing where I cut. Interesting. How am I supposed? To, am I supposed to maybe do a charge all the way over there instead of glide? Because that was pretty tight. Um, I guess we're doing some more cutting. Let me there in just a moment. Okay, yeah, getting a supercharge all the way across over here is not going to be possible, so I'm guessing we're going to take attempt number two and fly. Uh, I can't make that. How am I supposed to, what? Uh, excuse me, game. I'm missing a treasure. Whoop. Okay, I don't know why I thought that was the button to press to search, uh, but Sparks is telling me that there is more treasure to be found on that little, huh? Really? I think I got it all. Unless you see something that I don't. Uh, oh, here we go. Well, that's misleading as all hell. Okay, well, 100% of the stage is complete, but we've yet to land on the idol. And I don't know that doing a charging run into like, that doesn't seem like it's gonna give me a lot of air because I'm looking for some verticality in my jumps, you know, and I don't think that charge is going to do it for me. Uh, I guess we'll try it one more time, and if we can't do it, then skill points don't mean anything. Still got the art gallery, so yeah, cutting again. Wonderful. Uh, okay, well, moments after cutting, uh, I went and looked up exactly how it is you were supposed to do it because I was very curious and I honestly thought I had exhausted all my options. Turns out that is not the idol that we need to land on. The idol we're looking for is right here. This is the guy that we're looking for, the old wise guy. And for whatever reason, this is how we're supposed to do the thing. It gives us a one-up and it's very anticlimactic and disappointing. But we do get to see our little hula ladies again, so... You know what, I'm not complaining that much, but the fact that it is so abundantly unclear on what we needed to do is, is what really grinds my gears. So with that being said and done, we are finished with the land of Idle Springs. Yeah, something was telling me that this was going to be a better world, but you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. So let's just <laughs> concuss ourselves in front of a portal. Why not? <laughs> Oh. oh, the Tiki Man just wants to learn the ways of, <laughs> of uh, you know, correctly smoking and cooking a sausage as opposed to, you know, burning it. But 739, that is not the worst score in the world, if you ask me. But, upon our return visit to the Summer Forest, uh, no special cutscenes. Perfect. Next time on Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage, we are going to be diving down 
underneath the waters yet again and following that path of gems because I think we've exhausted everything on this side and now that we know how to swim life is gonna be real nice for us and we'll be able to learn about more of the other stages so I'm looking forward to it I'm just hoping people aren't thinking it's a good idea to go mowing lawns at this hour and my nose isn't so stuffy sorry my dose is a so stuffy how have I only been playing for an hour that is obscene also, we were, oh, we were two gems, man. Two gems over. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm excited. I want to keep playing. So I'll see you guys next time.